My name is Taylor Cardi. Taylor Cardi has cerebral palsy. She wanted to become a doctor. I never saw a disabled physician growing up giving so much medical care. Like, I became passionate about it. I love the brain. Taylor finished pre-med classes, took the MCAT, and got into medical school. Getting into medical school and pursuing my dream of becoming a physician, particularly a neurologist. I was very excited um, because it, it's a path I always want to pursue. Wayne State requires medical students to be able to perform certain motor skills like CPR without assistance from others on their team. Taylor asked for accommodations from the medical school. I know I have some limitations. I have spasticity in my left hand that would make it unlikely like for me to become a surgeon, but I am not interested in going into surgery or emergency medicine. And I need to find adaptations that would allow me to complete some of the motor competencies of the technical standards. The medical school said no and rescinded her acceptance. I know there needs to be a change because the technical standards, they're based on recommendations that the American Medical Association recommended 50 years ago, 50 plus years ago. Having more medical school students with disabilities will help dismantle ableism in the medical profession. In order to have a physician workforce that can best meet the needs of just the U.S. public, 20% of which has some sort of disability, then you need to take into consideration that without these students, you can't have a diverse, inclusive program. We need doctors with disabilities. These students offer a very unique perspective. That student will be an absolutely incredible physician. And who knows, you might inspire, one of them might inspire someone else to go into medicine. And you can be, you can start that change.